What's up, I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. It's been a while since we did some Yu-Gi-Oh! We are opening a box of Fist of the Gadgets. This is the newest set that just dropped. So this is one of those sets where each pack only has five cards, but they are all foil cards. Sometimes I like those, sometimes I don't. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I, I was kind of excited for this set. I kind of like the idea how Yu-Gi-Oh! they'll have different sets that, you know, will just give love to very specific archetypes that have not been super successful. So like Infinity Chasers was like Richcraft stuff and these um, like construction <laughs> equipment. Um, and then this one has for some gadget support and some fire fist support. But my understanding is that it wasn't quite enough to make them super relevant. So I feel like the set is not doing all that well. But there's a couple things. There's like a looks like some kind of summon skull card. So I do want to pull that just for the nostalgia part. Um, not too crazy about the gadget kind of like archetype. But we'll see if there's some cool cards in there. We got a swap cleric for our first pack. Fire Formation Tensu. Yeah, so all of these are super rares, and then there will be one secret. Ah, so the gadgets. We got the red gadget. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Rooster. So they're always like, uh, kind of like some kind of am animal emulation. And then, Boot Up Admiral Destroyer Dynamo. Our first secret. So each, each pack does have a secret. And uh, sounds like the biggest hits are the Eagle. Elephant and then panda. Wouldn't mind finding the panda one. All right, let's see. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. That looks pretty cool. That's a sweet name too. Start Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Chronograph Sorcerer. Signet Conflict. Ooh, some signet stuff. Talk Back Lancer. And then Brotherhood the Fire Fist Ram. And we have the Cardinal. Yeah, so they kind of like summon these uh, animals to fight. Tiger King. That looks pretty cool. Defcon Bird. Ooh, green gadget. We get all the gadgets. Archfiend Manifestation. <gasps> oh, is that the card I was looking for? Yeah, that does kind of look like Summon Skull look holding some kind of big mace thing. He has wings too. Very nice. But I do prefer the sets with like the big mech dragons and stuff like that. You know, as someone that kind of, I, 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 I don't really follow the meta. Like I feel like the, some of the mechanics for me are kind of hard to follow. And, but the, I do appreciate kind of like how the, they kind of like the, let's see, what am I trying to say? How they keep all the archetype types somewhat alive. There's so many different ones, and yes, there'll always be the best ones currently. Uh, but there's so many different ones, and they'll give all of them. Well, they'll tr distribute the love maybe slowly, but eventually they'll like, hey, here's some more train support or whether harpy support. And you know whether or not it brings them up to the top, but at least they, uh, you know, they, there is an effort. Ooh, okay, we did get the eagle, and. Uh, yeah, that's the most, uh, that's the highest price one. Oh, I ran out of sleeves last, uh, one of my recent videos, or last time I did Yu-Gi-Oh! And I did purchase more, but they have yet to arrive. So this is the Fire Fist Eagle is a Link. A Link 2, and the text is a little smaller, so I'll leave it right here for a second. But that is a very sweet pull. But this set is very small. I think it said on the box there's 40 supers and 20 secrets. And in a single box, you'll get 20 secrets and then 4 times 24 supers. So, as far as the supers go, maybe you can get the whole thing just out of one box, like in play sets for a lot of the stuff. And then, but the secrets, you know, there'll always be um, a handful of them that you kind of like can only get like two of them per box. And I feel like it's usually like one per side. So, like that eagle was probably the big hit for this side. And maybe we'll get something else on the other side. All right, Chronograph Sorcerer. I do like that one too. Uh, I feel like I, ooh, Fire Fist Bear. I do. I did purchase some ultis of this. 
and I thought with this set coming out it would raise the price. Uh, based on the Fire Fist is, as far as I can tell, not doing great. It doesn't seem like they're... Ooh, the Panda! Nice! That was the one I wanted. Very cool. The only thing is that there's a kind of a lot going on in this art, so it's kind of... It's not bad, but I feel like it's not super epic. But, yeah, so Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of going through an exciting phase, a lot going on. I feel like a bunch of sets just came out. Speed Duel is continuing to put out stuff. And then we got Fire Formation Ingren. And the 2019 Megatons Gold Sarcophagus is about to drop as well. So we'll probably do some of those as well in the near future. Majesty Maiden, the True Draco Caster. Tell... Talkback Lancer, Prohibit Snake, Latency, oh that's pretty cool, ooh look at this guy, I do like that, Archfiend's Ascent, looks like a super evil Summon Skull, as if Summon Skull didn't needed help to look evil, but uh, that one, <laughs> just some kind of Archfiend card that, that feels really nostalgic for me. Alright, let's see. Gold Gadget. I think this was in Dual Power or something. Power Hold. Goliath. Green Gadget. And Ultimate Formation Sinto. Alright, I imagine pretty soon we're going to start hitting a lot of repeats. So we're going to pick up the pace and we're actually going to open the whole box. Alright, let's see. Sign at Conflict. Code Talker. Boot Up Corporal. Silver Gadget, and Arch... Ooh, I love all these Arch Fiends! Well, I feel like a lot of the Arch Fiends look, <laughs> look very similar, but... Alright, on to the second half. As always, guys, if you do enjoy this content, do me a favor, hit that like button. And uh, if you're not already a sub, definitely hit that sub button as well. We're getting a bunch of gadgets in this pack. Swap Cleric, Goliath, and... Ooh, same exact card as last pack. So yep, I was right. The, <laughs> the repeats are going to start. And only the second half of a, of a single box. Sign it, optimization. Code talker. That's a cool art. Ras... Rastalinger? Liger? Rastaliger? Latency. And then Ignis Heat, the true Draco warrior. Not sure where Draco, Draco is at. Alright, let's see, we got the Rooster, getting all the animals, Sorcerer, Red Gadget, and then the Ram. I believe we pulled one of those already. I feel like the secrets, there's like, almost no, or we're not pulling any gadget secrets, they're all the Fire Fist stuff. Fire Fist Gorilla, that's a new one. Kind of hard to see the Gorilla, kind of like how it's, well, most of it is the same color, makes it a little bit harder to appreciate the art. And then Firefist Spirit, Firefist Bear, Hidden City. Ooh, I think this card's actually pretty good. Put this up here. Then another Archfiend, Archfiend's Call. These kind of like sound like different spells for like Archfiend stuff, less so than a specific Archfiend. Like his call is an actual creature, or something. Interesting, interesting. All right, Gold Gadget, Tensu. Starving Venom, that's a cool dragon. And then this, ooh, a new one, this is the Swan. I gotta say, this a Swan does not sound as intimidating as Bear, as Eagle. Well, I guess Panda doesn't sound that intimidating either, so that sounds cute. It's like, oh, summon the Fire Fist Panda, it's like, oh, let's play. All right, ooh, boot up order gear change. And then the Peacock. Don't really see it. I see this sword thing. Uh, sure. Fire Fist Peacock. We got that one too. Yeah, so many, so many Fire Fist cards. And it's called Fists of the Gadget. So yes, fist. But uh, I feel like we're kind of lacking on the gadgets. We got that gorilla again. Tiger King. I like that art. And then Master Cerberus. 
power hold a power hold the moving battery, then fire fo formation domain. Is that an I at the end? Yeah, definitely cards seem to be more leaning towards the fire fist side. Sign it conflict. Ooh, shooting code talker. That looks pretty cool. Boot up corporal, swap cleric, and an elephant. Oh man, are we getting like all the good cards? Yeah, it seems like the best ones are elephant, eagle, and then panda. We got all three, very nice. Let's see. Yeah, you know, it's, I feel like an elephant would be very distinct and it's kind of hard to make out. All you kind of see is the, like the human there, less so of the actual animal spirits. So the art, it's not crazy, I'm not crazy about the art. We got the gadget, silver gadget, spirit, cardinal, and tenki. Alright, winding down, three packs remaining. Yeah, these are uh, packs that only have five cards in it. You know, you do get a buttload of foils, but uh, uh, this set I'm not, not feeling it. Rooster, cardinal, and then, ooh, destroyer dynamo. Boot up Admiral. Oh, here's some here's some gadget stuff. Alright. Rest the Liger. Ooh, Fire Formation Yoko. First one of those. Got that gear change again. Prohibit Snake. And then Archfiend's Manifestation. We pulled one of these. Tiger King again, Defcon Bird, the Green Gadget, Amorphage Lechery. Not sure, I mean, we've. Did we get this before? Probably. And then Gear Force. Nice. Some more gear stuff. Alright, last pack. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, do me a favor, drop a like if you did enjoy this. Um, yeah, we haven't been to doing tons of Yu Gi Oh! But if you do want to see more, that's the easiest way to. Uh, let me know that you do want to see more it's by hitting that like button. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more content. Here we go with the last pack. We got a Swap Cleric, Defcon Bird, Final Battle. Oh, Subterra Final Battle. That's our first one of those. Fire Fist Bear, and then Arch Fiend's Call. We'll put it by in the other one. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I should have mentioned this during the opening, but uh, yeah, there's no, not even like a Prismatic or anything like that. So. I feel like this set is just mediocre on all fronts. Um, not the most exciting cards, not the best art, and yeah, no no max rarity and stuff like that. So, I mean, all the sets can't be great, but this one feels a little, little lackluster. Uh, but we did get some good cards. Let's see, we got that Fire Fist Eagle. Super nice hit right there. And then... Let's see, we got that panda, that was the one I wanted. Very nice. And we also got the elephant. So the big three, the big three hitters, big three cards we've made managed to pull. So I would call that a very successful opening. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and we'll catch you guys next time.